What's up everyone, Ninth Jim here, back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video, and today we are talking about Klefki. Now this pair of keys is pretty cool because it has the ability Prankster, which gives it plus one speed priority to all of your status category moves, not targeting down a dark Pokemon. So, the cool thing about this Pokemon is it has a lot of really good moves to take advantage of that Prankster ability. It's not insanely bulky, but it has you know, a little bit of natural bulk, and pair that with screens, it is usually going to be capable of setting up both screens, and then also potentially doing things like paralysis or anything, because it does have Prankster Thunder Wave, which is very, very good. Thunder Wave being amazing speed control, while also, you know, giving your opponent the 25% chance of not being able to play the game. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, Prankster Thunder Wave and Prankster Screens is pretty good. I like Klefki a lot. It's always been, um, you know, a Pokemon that I've been pretty fond of. Um, but, you know, Grimmsnarl might do it better in this gen. It's a little bit bulkier. It has a little bit more offense when you actually have to use your attacks. It has Fake Out. Um, you know, Dark Typing is pretty cool for a Prankster Mon because Prankster Taunt can't affect it by things like Whimsicott. So, yeah, I mean, maybe Grimmsnarl is better. But this is not the Grimmsnarl video. This is the Klefki video. So we're going to be talking about Klefki. So let's get into it. So, um, it's, you know, ability is amazing. Steel Fairy Typing is pretty solid. Steel Typing is good for a Pokemon like this because it gives us so many resistances. We have nine resistances, which is huge. Um, only two weaknesses of Fire and Ground, and then only two immunities as well. Um, and when I say only two immunities, two immunities is pretty solid. Uh, poison and Dragon, you know, Poison isn't huge, but Dragon is pretty big in the meta. So we're definitely able to, to uh, catch some really good defensive switches into things like, you know, Dragapult, Max Wormwind. And uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, Klefki, you know, solid typing overall. It's not going to be very offensive, although this is a pretty solid offensive typing as well. Um, you know, Steel and Fairy both being really good typings. So, yeah, Klefki has a pretty good typing. Um, as far as our stats go, it's a little lackluster, but, you know, overall, it's not bad, especially with screens. So, HP at 57 is really low, but defense and special defense, both at 91 and 87 respectively, is like, you know, not that bad. But on a Pokemon that's at screens, it's not that bad. Our damage calcs show off. Most of the Pokemon in the meta are not okoing us uh, through screens. But, you know, we still have some things like Cinderace, things like Charizard. They hit really hard and are still capable of taking out Klefki through screens sometimes. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, that is about it for this Pokemon for the overview. Let's move on to the build. So, VGC build for Klefki. We are running Prankster, of course. It's the only way to play this Pokemon in my in my opinion you know it's uh, stats and in, in move pool doesn't really allow anything other than prankster but that's fine because prankster is so good um, we are using the item light clay on this build because uh, you know letting our screens be up for uh, eight turns instead of five is a very very huge thing for Klefki um, you know it's a screen setter so light clay makes a lot of sense on this um, there are other options for items if you don't really care for the screens as much. Um, I still think I would probably run screens even if I didn't play Light Clay on the Pokemon. Um, but, you know, you can run screens and, and then something else. Um, there are good options. So, first off, we have uh, the Eject button, which is really good with Switcheroo. You know, turn off Dynamaxes, give things Eject mut button. Um, you know, that plus Rillaboom, Grassy Glide, that plus Aqua Jet, that plus, you know, any priority move. Um, is going to be able to, you know, just shut down Dynamaxes, which is really good. Uh, you will have to be careful of the redirection, things like Togekiss, Dragapult, um, you know, uh, Amoongus, Togekiss, and Didi all have redirection. So you'll definitely want to be careful of that. Uh, but still, you know, it's pretty solid. Switcheroo Eject Button is a, a really good um, idea in theory, and Klefki is pretty capable of doing that. We also have things like Citrus Berry, a Guave Berry, if you want to run a berry instead of like clay. Once again, I would not i would run like clay i think that's the optimal way of running it but eject button uh berry could be cool as well and then we also have wide lens which gives you a guaranteed uh hit with thunder wave it only has 95 accuracy so you will miss sometimes but wide lens makes it so you would never miss um which is really good anyway klefki pretty good stuff like clay prankster let's talk about some moves so life light screen and reflect um, of course, Thunder Wave, of course, and then Dazzling Gleam. So, I think this is a pretty, you know, standard moveset for Klefki. Uh, dual Screens, Thunder Wave, and Dazzling Gleam, one offensive move. I like Thunder Wave a lot. 
Um, Prankster Thunder Wave, I've always been a huge fan of. You know, it's very, very strong. It's a great form of speed control as well as, um, you know, the chance of shutting them down entirely, um, which is great. Sp uh, plus one speed control is just great. We've seen Prankster Tailwind take metas on its own with uh, Whimsicott and Tail and uh, even Talonflame now being just so powerful. Um, so yeah, Clef Key, you know, plus one Thunder Wave is really, really powerful. Um, we also have Light Screen and Reflect for, for that damage reduction, so you have uh, damage control as well as speed control, which is very, very good. This Pokemon also um, features a lot of other moves, though. You don't only have to use those moves. Um, we have things like Safeguard, Switcheroo, mostly for that eject button, but it you know can also be good with just Light Clay. Um, you have uh, Metal Sound, which is essentially fake tears, which is really cool. You have Crafty Shield, um, which blocks uh, your your partner Pokemon from being status. Really good for uh, burn right now in the meta. You know we have a lot of uh, Will O Wisp Dusk Dusclops going around. Um, you know like Will O Wisp even on uh, you know Arcanines. We have uh, Burning Jealousy. Burn is really good right now. There's a lot of great physical attackers, and the best physical attacker, or one of the best physical attackers, um, is a fire type Pokemon, Cinderace, but it changes and usually will not be a fire type. So, you know, burning those kind of Pokemon is really, really strong. So, Clef Key can be, uh, it can provide a bit of support with that crafty shield. We also have things like Foul Play that can deal damage out to, uh, you know, boosted Pokemon. There's a lot of boosting right now. So, that's a really good option as well. We also have Flash Cannon for damage and then Protect as well um, for Clef Key. So, you know, it has a pretty deep move pool and a lot of these will get the plus one speed control from Prankster ability. So, you know, Clef Key... It definitely takes advantage of Prankster, so it's good. Um, as far as our EV spread goes, um, we went with 252 into HP, 228 into Defense, and then also 28 into Special Defense. This helps us live things like Togekiss Earth Power or Togekiss Heat Wave, Togekiss Max Flare, Earth Power from uh, Gastron, Earth Power from Venusaur with that 28 Special Defense, and Light Screen is very good. And then uh, we went very heavy into Defense to live things like Excadrill. Um, you know, Excadrill high horsepower, uh, Rhyperior horsepower. So a lot of moves, um, you know, we protect a lot with that 252 HP and, uh, the spread in general plus screens. So yeah, that's the idea. You just want to be able to set up both screens. If you do both of those, then you feel really good about yourself as a Klefki. And then, uh, you could also hit Thunder Wave and then a screen could be really good. You will typically live, um, one to two attacks, which is good. And, uh, you know, in the right positioning, uh, Klefki can live most of the game and we see things like Sableye um, that serve a pretty similar role live the whole game before and it's just crazy when it happens um, So yeah, pretty solid spread. I like this spread a lot um, If I use Klefki right now, um, I would be running this spread. So I think it's pretty good um, as far as our uh, Synergetic Pokemon go for this Pokemon uh, Honestly, just about everything um, you know Klefki is one of those Pokemon that you just put in when you need that uh, prankster screens, you need that prankster T-Wave, um, you will put Klefki on that team. So, uh, you know, I have things like here, Rillaboom and Togekiss, just mainly um, because they're super synergetic with just about everything, and so is Klefki. So, you know, it's pretty good. You, honestly, you just don't want it on um, a team with, like, a lot of uh, other, like, contradicting things. You don't need this plus another prankster Pokemon, typically. Um, you don't need this plus um, other guys that are weak to fire and earth so you know just position it on the team uh, correctly is pretty much what it comes down to also um, you know if you use the eject button then uh, this can be really good as well um, with grassy glide moves like that to uh, you know prankster uh, switcheroo and then shut down dynamax is, is very good anyway that is going to be it for the vgc build let's go ahead and move on to speed tiers so um, as far as speed tiers go, it's pretty much irrelevant with this Pokemon most of the time. Dazzling Gleam is going to be, you know, a very, very underused option, something that you don't even have to run. So, uh, everything is going to be hitting in that plus one speed bracket, so it usually won't matter. But, you know, things like uh, Sableye and Whimsicott will matter, of course, as well. And we are faster than Sableye and slower than Whimsicott, so, you know, it's not too bad. Um, as far as Klefki goes, you know, we are at 95, which isn't super fast, but not, like, insanely slow. We do outspeed a lot of good Pokemon, things like Tyranitar, Sylveon, Lapras, Jealous, and Grimmsnarl, uh, Scrafty, Aegislash, you know, all of those low-speed Pokemon, Trick Room guys, things like Katarine, uh, Torkoal, Ferrothorn, Dusclops, you know, all of those slow guys. Um, so that's good, but, you know, we are at 95, so a lot of things will be outspeeding us. Uh, even Min-Speed Togekiss, Milotic, and DDF, Rillaboom. 
um, max speed of all those guys, Excadrill, Duraludon, all these mid to fast Pokemon, all the fast Pokemon, Dragapult, um, all of these things will be outspeeding us, but plus one speed priority, so we're going to be hitting Prankster T-Waves and Prankster Screens against all those Pokemon all day. Uh, before they get to attack, which is very, very good. So yeah, I like Klefki. I think it's a, a pretty competent speed tier since, you know, you only really uh, calculate speed tier with things like Dazzling Gleam, which you're not even going to use very frequently. So it's pretty fine. Um, let's move on to some damage calc. So all of these are going to be defensive. We're not going to be using this Pokemon to attack very frequently. And when we do, um, you know, don't be expecting a lot, a lot of damage because we're not going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage. Um, so first off, Dynamax, Max Flare, Max Invested, Togekiss. This is not a crit, uh, but if it crits, then yikes. Um, but yeah, into our 252 HP, 28 Special Defense, Klefki through Light Screen. So this is with Light Screen up. Max Flare into us hits 61.5 to 73.1%, which is a guaranteed 2 KO, guarantees our living, uh, which is good. You know, you expect them to Max Flare into you. You set up Light Screen, you live one turn, you set up Reflect next turn, you live again, maybe. Um, and then you T-Wave, which is really good. Um, or, you know, any different order, as long as that light screen keeps you alive turn one. Next, we have uh, Excadrill Max Quake. This is 252 plus attack, um, not Life Orb, um, but it is Adamant. But uh, yeah, Life Orb, we don't live this calc. If it's Adamant or Jolly, we do live this calc. And usually you're going to see things like Focus Ash on those Excadrill. Um, so yeah, Life Orb's pretty pretty underused actually i think weakness policy is being used more on excadrill than even uh life orb so you know pretty weird but it is uh it is what it is so max quake from excadrill 252 adamant into our klefki with reflect um hits 82 95 which is a lot uh, a lot of damage but guaranteed to a ko we guaranteed live it through reflect so you know they start um tyranitar excadrill or like togekiss excadrill thinking they're gonna you know follow me get off a um uh, turn one knockout with max quake you get to live it which is really good you set up reflect and then you get light screen the next turn since you can't really t-wave the uh excadrill but you could t-wave the uh togekiss so you know togekiss plus excadrill is a lead that you can lead klefki for next we have incineroar um flare blitz not dynamax attack just for attack um into reflect hits 48 to 58 which is a lot of damage um but you know it's not even a guaranteed to a ko which is cool um, it will most likely be a 2 KO because 96.5 is a very, very high um, percentage to rely on, but, you know, not guaranteed. Next, we have Cinderace, Max Flare with that Life Orb, Dynamaxed, um, don't expect to live this, um, but, you know, you can usually, uh, sometimes live it. So, uh, through Reflect, it's only hitting 92 to 109. Um, I realize I said only when it does have a chance of Okoing, but it is only a 50% chance. So, you know, it is still a roll. And, uh, you know, getting rolls is really good. But if it's G-maxed, it's hitting 160 BP, which will put it into, um, you know, a guaranteed knockout. So if it's a Dynamax um, one and they're still setting, like, Fire with, uh, or setting Sun with Max Flare, then sure. But if it's the G-max attack, you're not, they're knocking you out through Reflect. So, you know, definitely expect that. Um, but honestly, I've seen a lot of Cinderace not even running a Fire attack. So, you know, maybe uh, you can get lucky. But... I wouldn't recommend leading this against what you uh, expect to be a Cinderace lead. Anyway, next we have um, Hatterene Max Mindstorm from Life Orb. Um, you know, 252 Quiet, Special Attack Life Orb, Hatterene Max Mindstorm in Psychic Terrain, hitting 75 to 89%. This is without screens, by the way. So, you know, this can be a really, really good counter against the powerful Psy Spam. Um, you know, that Steel Typing is very good against uh, the Psy Spam teams. So... Yeah, it can be solid. And then even if you set if you set light screen turn one, which you probably will want to, especially if it has, um, you know, since it has access to mystical fire and so on, um, you set up light screen, you're only taking 50 to 59 percent damage from max mindstorm. Now, they're probably also going to go with the fairy attack oh, um, over that uh, so that they can confuse you, but still not too bad. And you can set safeguard as well against that team, which is really good. Next, we have our last calc. It's still another defensive calc. It's 252 Brave. Um, so it's 252 plus thick club, Marowak, Alola, Max Flare. Don't expect to live this. This is our scariest calc. Um, with reflect up, it's hitting 120 to 143, which is guaranteed Oko. But even if it doesn't Dynamax and uses just Flare Blitz, it's still taking a guaranteed Oko. So yeah, this is um, you know our scary match up here is uh, this guy. Um, he's scary. So yeah. Anyway, that is going to be it for our uh, damage calcs portion. 
Uh, let's move on to single spotlight real quick before I leave the video. So single spotlight, I this Pokemon lost Toxic, which is a really big deal for it in singles, you know, so it can chip away at those walls and chip away at just Pokemon in general. Flash Cannon and Play Rough are not going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, I went with this uh, mixed spread. You probably shouldn't. Um, I switched it to Bold, and uh, which is minus attack. Uh, I didn't really think about that. It's probably best to make it like a nature. It's plus defense um, Minus special attack or, or like minus one of the two probably uh, Probably attack and then go for special attacks instead of the play rough um, go for dazzling gleam, but uh, Yeah, just like cuz of intimidate. So yeah, that's something I'll probably change but yeah, I think Klefki overall um, lost a lot of usage with losing Toxic. You know, it's his main de damage dealer when it sets up Spikes and T-Wave and then, uh, you know, Toxic in its uh, category. It's plus one speed priority Toxic, so it was really good before with that. Um, but now it lost that, so it has no offensive pressure. And uh, honestly, if you like, and it's not like unbelievably Wally, you can definitely run uh, screens with it. But screens are less good in singles than uh, doubles because there's just less turns. Um, or more turns um, so yeah leftovers I honestly I don't think Klefki is that great in uh, singles but you know because it because it lost toxic but it's still an option and definitely something you can think about running and uh, test and then if you like it then good on you um, anyway that is going to be it for my video today thank you so much for watching if you're still here go down to the comment section right now and say hey nice vid or whatever you want to say comment like subscribe all of those make more of a difference than you know um than you would think it's a big deal is what i'm saying um yeah so like comment subscribe follow me on uh discord or follow me on twitter join my discord do all those things it'll it's a huge difference um anyway that is going to be it for the video thank you so much for watching i think Klefki's like cool um but i, I do think it's probably outclassed by grim snarl now in vgc and in singles uh it's just not that good so yeah, but it does have some really cool tools, and uh, Prankster T-Wave, Prankster Screens will always be a powerful thing. So, you know, you can use this over, um, you know, the other guy. Uh, it it's cool. Anyway, that is going to be it. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.